Texas street cars in the shop today. We have my personal truck. It's a 2008 Chevrolet Silverado short bed. It is a LS. We're going to go over all the options and some of the stuff we've done to it. To start off, everybody freaks out when we post these NBS or NNBS trucks at a certain price. There's a difference in, the, in the, some of the trucks we've had and some that you see on your Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. This truck is a 300 truck. I'm the third owner. All factory paint, factory headlights, taillights, GM glass. It scores a 92 on auto check. Has never been wrecked. No crashes. Solid, really clean original truck. So, uh, what we when we bought it, it was completely stock minus the bed cover. So since we've had it, we put a full Ride Tech uh, Street Grip suspension kit on it. It's four inches in the front and six and a half in the back is what they advertise the lowering kit at. The front is coilovers with their Fox shocks. You can adjust the front. The rear is a flip kit. Has their adjustable Fox shocks in the back. So really, this is the first time we've used Ride Tech suspension stuff. And it really does make this truck handle well. It also has the Ride Tech big muscle bar, front sway bar. So you can look through the pictures and see that. So it has the big sway bar upgrade. Uh, wheels are a set of factory 20 inch uh, Texas edition wheels off of a Suburban. They had like 30 miles on them when the guy took them off. So these wheels you buy all the time on Craigslist, but they're normally rashed up or scratched up. These are perfect. No rash, no damage, nothing. Brand new set of Toyo Proxus STs on it, 275.50s all the way around. Uh, front brakes are a set of the SSBC, their little front brake kit. It's upgraded calipers, uh, slotted rotor, really nice little kit that fits good. It stops, it stops well, really nice. I like that kit on here. So, and, and the calipers are red, so it looks good. The brackets are black. The rear of the truck has uh, a set of the Husky wheel liners to kind of finish out the, the rear of it. Uh, Tri-fold little tonneau cover on it. The bed's never been uh, right aligned or anything. It's, it's got some little scratches from people moving stuff in and out, but no, uh, no right aligner or bed liner in there. Exterior of the truck is blue granite metallic. The interior is titanium or gray. So it's kind of got the two-tone gray. Factory seats, the steering wheel is an upgrade we did. It's a leather steering wheel out of the higher model Silverados. So it's got all the volume controls on it and the radio controls and all that stuff. Headliner's in good shape. It has a set of WeatherTech mats in it. The factory carpet is really clean. Uh, window tent, no, no damage to the, uh, the factory carpet. Like I was saying, it's really nice underneath those mats. Uh, it is an LS package, so it's got the chrome front bumper and the chrome rear. It is a G80 locking, heavy duty locking diff. Uh, Rear end with 323 gears, 4.8 liter V8 automatic transmission. By 08, the 4.8 liter had gotten a little more powerful. I think these are 295 as their, their rating for horsepower. Uh, <clears throat> one of the options on it is the uh, LS package that adds the power windows, power locks, keyless entry, power mirrors, you know, the defrost mirrors, all that stuff's on there. It's got satellite radio, it still has the factory radio in it, so all the controls work. All the gauges work, AC's ice cold, we just had it serviced. Uh, with an oil change from about 1,500 miles ago. I drive this truck all the time. My kiddos ride in it. It's, it drives really good. It doesn't do anything weird. It doesn't rub. No leaks. Stock exhaust. None of that's been messed with. So really clean 08 Silverado. As the short bed single cabs got you know on from the OBS and everything, they seem like they made less and less of them. So buying these trucks is getting harder, especially a V8 one that doesn't have 300,000 miles on it. This one has right at 94,000 miles on it. So I think we got it right at 90 or so. So I've driven it a little bit. Uh, besides that, everything else is, is all OEM GM stuff. So GM marker still on the window, a little shorty antenna. Uh, we'll go take it out and drive it here in a minute. It is, you know, it's fun to drive. It handles well. And uh, I really like the color of this truck with the polished wheels and everything looks good. So we'll drive over with the, the cameras. You can see the underside and we'll go take it out for a spin. We'll go drive the 08 around the block a little bit. Uh, like we're talking about inside, the ride tech stuff in the truck handles really well. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the things I've had forgotten. It's all still original Chevy headlights, which you know how the headlights faded really bad in these years. Uh, factory bumpers, all that stuff. The shocks are adjustable on that ride tech kit. I haven't messed with them a bunch, but you can firm them up or make them a little softer from your preference. Some big bumps right here. This truck rides good on the highway. You know, it's not slammed super low where you can't drive it. The brake upgrade is a nice little upgrade that we did to it. And you know, as the single cabs got 
you know, the Chevys, the Silverados, whatever you call them. We do a lot with the OBSs. As the NBS and then the NNBS came out, they're just so much nicer. Obviously, they're newer. The AC blows really cold. The, uh, you know, the rack and pinion steering, the braking systems are better. And then obviously the power of a 4.8 is way better than a, you know, old TBI 5 liter or something. So on this back little road here, we'll go around this turn. I'm really surprised how good this big truck handles with this ride tech stuff. And I'm 6'2", and there's you know, more room in these trucks too. Plus my kid, I was riding here with me, so this center seat folds up and there's an actual shoulder seat belt instead of just the lap belts of the older trucks. But I put my seat belt on. We're not used to that, the OBSs, huh? <clears throat> Interior's clean in this truck, the factory radio all works, the buttons aren't, you know, they had some problems with these peeling off over the years, the riding. All right, the video cut off on our drive, but we got it back here at the shop. I wanted to get some video out in the sunlight. One of the things we've been talking about on it is raised attention to the details, did a full uh, ceramic coating on this truck, headlights, windshield, all the painted surfaces, wheels. So really easy to wash this truck. It was done, the ceramic coating was done about oh, a couple months ago. It still beads up really well, easy to wash. So here's some video of it out in the sun so you can see that metallic. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, follow our videos. We got some more OBS stuff coming up soon.